Hey guys, welcome back to Inform Gardens. On today's Variety Spotlight, we're going to be talking about a pepper that was once very spicy and has been transformed into a delicious sweet pepper. This is the habanada. So first, here's a closer look at the plant itself. It's growing right here. As you can see, it's quite compact, so it would make for a good container variety. It's only about a foot and a half tall, but very productive. A lot of leaf growth, but also a lot of nice little pepper pods in there. They start off this green color, slowly ripen, and when they're fully ripe, they're this really nice dark orange, almost tangerine color. And as you can see, they very much look like a hot pepper. And that's because they are a habanero, but the heat has been bred out of them. It's a pretty cool backstory I want to tell you a little bit more about. So these plants were developed by a guy named Michael Mazurik. He's a plant breeder and college professor at Cornell University in Ithaca, New York. He actually developed a couple of varieties you might recognize, the Silver Slicer Cucumber and also the Honey Nut Squash, which is a butternut that he bred to be smaller and sweeter. So he's this genius plant breeder. He gets these seeds from the University of New Mexico. They're breeding their own habaneros. They come across a pepper and they registered it on the Scoville scale, you know, they're testing all their peppers, and it didn't register, it had no heat. So they were like, what's going on with this? They take those seeds, they send it to this guy, Michael. He's intrigued, he starts developing, developing it, breeding this plant, and for 13 generations he spends breeding, and he develops a pepper that has no heat, but maintains all the same characteristics as a habanero, sweet, fruity, floral, but it's just not spicy. So that is an impressive feat of plant breeding and genetics. I think it's very interesting. And it really comes down to how does this thing taste? Let's cut one open and have a look. So the first thing you notice when you cut it open is that aroma. It smells just like a hot pepper pungent, kind of floral. Definitely you could not tell the difference between a hot pepper and this by the looks or the smell of it. Really nice. Not too many seeds. So I'm just going to cut the tip off of here just a little bit. There you go. I'm going to eat this whole thing, the seeds and everything. Here you go. The habanada. Mmm. Wow. <laughs> It really tricks you because at first you get that same flavor. You feel like it's about to be a spicy pepper and then the heat just never arrives. It's just sweet, it's fruity, has like a floral flavor, almost like tropical and apricot maybe. It is really nice. If you are not a fan of hot peppers and you've ever wondered what a hot pepper tastes like but didn't want to go through the pain of the heat, you gotta try habanero because that is exactly what it tastes like. But you just get the flavor and none of the spice. Really cool. That's really nice. Um, I heard that they made a sorbet out of this, like a you know, like a frozen treat a sorbet. Otherwise, I'm not sure what else you would do with this. Just eating it fresh, I think, is the best because it tastes great, very easy to eat. Um, you can eat it with salads. It's pretty thin, pretty thin walled. So I don't know if pickling would be that good. I don't know, I have uh, maybe roasting them, maybe with a salsa. I'm sure there's lots of stuff you could do. Anything you would do with the habanero, you could do with this. It's just, you're not going to get any of the spice. So that is really cool. Very good pepper. Fun one to try. Cool history. You guys definitely give that one a shot. This is the habanada. I got these seeds from Baker Creek Seeds. And there you go. Add that one to your rotation. Thank you guys so much for watching that Variety Spotlight. I'll catch you on the next one.